Namaste. Yeah, I decided I'm going to address another rant by Nityananda's devotee that's all over about that uh, article I read the other day about Nityananda's court case and that the uh, India Forensic Sciences have just released the papers that that video is not morphed. Now she come unglued and said, that paper had to apologize to him. No, that was Saxon. That was from the Sun. What I read was reported in six other newspapers. Had nothing to do with the Sun, nothing to do with Saxon. That was long ago. So you are 100% mistaken. Okay? Now, how long ago has it been that Nityananda Ashram has claimed that he's been exonerated? Okay. I'm going to read you another article. You're not going to like this one any better. In fact, you're going to like this one even worse. This is from the New India Express. Okay. This came out in the 1st of September 2017 at 926 a.m. has nothing to do with Sun nothing to do with that guy that had to apologize absolutely nothing okay and again this was just in September many things have happened since then like I said he's got an upcoming court date in December 5th okay and I'm sure they were saying he was exonerated way before September 1st. Okay. So let's see what it says. Okay. Karnataka's self-styled Godman, Nityananda's case, Supreme Court likely to hear petitions in 10 days. They did actually go forward to hear other things. Like I said, the next court date is December 5th. Okay. This was uh, by Express News Service, published the 1st of September, 2017. This is from Bengaluru. As the chapter finally closed on the long-drawn-out case of Gurmeet Ram Rahim Singh of Dara Sacha Sauda with his conviction and incarceration, Karnatikas, self-styled godman, Nichananda's trial shows similar signs of being a lengthy legal process. Okay? It's still ongoing all of these years. Nichananda's people have done everything they can to stall it. Okay? I could also dig up the one where it said that the uh, Supreme Court there is getting really fed up with the stalls his lawyer is doing. Okay? Of course, you're not going to believe that either, are you? Okay. <clears throat> Let's continue on. Said so the case against Nichananda pending in the trial court in Ramanagara has not moved forward even an inch as several petitions related to the case are pending before the Supreme Court, which has stayed the trial court proceedings. Okay? That means they've taken a hiatus, they've taken a break. It doesn't mean he's been exonerated. It's still ongoing. Okay? <clears throat> Interestingly, the Supreme Court is likely to take up the hearing in 10 days' time after the hearing on the Covery water dispute when it concludes. Advocate for Karnataka in the Supreme Court, <clears throat> V.N. Raghupati, told Express that the bench of justices, <clears throat> Deepak Misra, and A.M. Conwilker, which is hearing all matters related to Nichananda. Did you get that? All matters? It's not just one case. He has had a number of cases come up. One of them is concerning that mutt that he tried to say he was made the head of. Well, that case ended. And the pontiff that he's saying he was made the head of is still alive. 
okay? He's been barred from going to that mutt any longer, okay? He's tried to take over a number of mutts, Shaivite mutts, across India with his tactics, okay? Many of them have come up in court cases. This is your sterling guru, okay? Let's continue on with this. <clears throat> The uh, council said should wait until the hearing on Covery dispute is over. Okay. <clears throat> and it says the bench is hearing the matter daily, leaving them no time to deal with other matters. All the cases related to Nietzsche and Nanda are tied to these hearings, and we expect them to resume after next Thursday since the Covery dispute hearing will be over by then. The Criminal Investigation Department, CID, had charged a file, had filed a charge sheet in the November 2010, charging Nityananda, alias Rajasekaran, with rape, cheating, criminal intimidation, and unnatural sex. The case has seen its fair share of twists and turns. Nichananda made news when a video of him in a compromising position with an actress found its way to Tamil TV channels. Okay. And one of those is what you're talking about, the son. With Saxon. He's the one that made his apology. But none of these newspapers have anything to do with that. May I remind you? Let's continue on. Later, his driver, Lenin Karupan, and another disciple, Vishwanath, filed a complaint based on which police had registered a complaint of rape and cheating. The case was quickly transferred to CID, which also filed additional charges. As he started facing heat, Nichananda, who lived in his ashram near Bidadi, made a run for it, but was arrested from Himachal Pradesh. He spent more than a month in jail before he was granted bail. Later, a former woman disciple also lodged a complaint of rape against the godmen with the CID. In turn, Nichananda also filed several cases against her, one of them in the U.S. Counter complaints were filed against Lenin Karupan as well, and at one time Lenin went into hiding, fearing for his life. Now, the one they keep harping on that he was exonerated in it's the thing that happened in the U.S. She was not able to come to the U.S. She did not make that trial for that. And so she lost that case. But he was not exonerated of rape or any of these other charges. Okay? So let's continue this on. Okay? This case is still pending. It's still going forward. Nichananda also underwent potency tests of his own accord and tried to prove that he did not have testosterone levels required to classify him as a man. And hence, he was not capable of having sexual intercourse. However, the Supreme Court directed him to undergo a potency test in 2014, as well as give blood and voice samples. Okay. Um, and the, the uh, outcome of those tests was he is a totally normal male with normally functioning organs, okay? Yes, he's quite capable of having sex. Okay. Nichinanda also filed a petition seeking access to the statements of 32 people who were members from his ashram, including the actress. While the high court allowed it, the state government challenged it and filed a special petition saying those statements cannot be handed over to him as they were not part of the charge sheet, and that too is pending in the Supreme Court. Okay. My computer is slow here. <clears throat> okay. 
They also have a copy of the non-disclosure agreement, which Nityananda makes them sign. The CID charge sheet mentioned the now famous 10-page non-disclosure agreements the disciples of Nityananda had to sign. Excerpts of the agreements included parts like the volunteer could not disclose the existence of the agreement, the nature of any relationship between the volunteer and the leader, and the agreement read, volunteer also affirms that he, she does not find sexual or adult-oriented material associated with the practice of any tantric rituals or any other adult-oriented material to be offensive or objectionable. Volunteer understands the program may involve ah, this thing is the program uh, let me get back to where I was program may involve the learning and practices of ancient tantric secrets associated with male and female ecstasy including those of sexual energy for increased intimacy spiritual connection, pleasure, harmony, and freedom. Volunteer understands that these activities could be physically and mentally challenging and may involve nudity and access to visual images, graphic visual depictions and descriptions of nudity and sexual activity and close proximity and intimacy, etc. Okay, and there you have it. Okay, this is your squeaky clean guru. Okay, and when you have these girls running around wearing red in their hairline like they're married, saying their only relationship that matters is the one with Nichinanda. Okay, I guarantee he is betting them. After all, they said they are taking sannyas to live like a god. Well, that's not why you take sannyas, okay? There are a lot of huge red flags. Again, the fact that they, when they went in, the police went into the uh, ashram, what did they find? A lot of used condoms and, and whiskey bottles and things. Really, this does not belong in an ashram. Okay. Now, you may be in denial of it, but again, if you put in that you want to be alerted to when things come up concerning Nichananda, you will see that what I'm telling you is the absolute truth. He has not been exonerated, that court case is not finished, and so you can get as spitting mad as you want to. You can call me every name under the book. Okay? It's not going to change the facts. The facts are as stated. The court process is still ongoing. Okay? It's not been finished. Hopefully, it comes to an end soon. Hopefully, the people that he abused have their day in court. Okay? It's been a long time coming. His lawyers have stalled and stalled and stalled for years. And it needs to come to an end. Okay? It really needs to come to an end. Okay? But in all honesty, he has not been exonerated. Again, I don't care how many times they spin it, how many times they use alternative facts. The facts are clear. Every newspaper in India is not lying. Okay? You can get it from the Deccan Herald, which is up in Delhi, or you can get it from some of the Tamil newspapers. Okay? Tamil Nadu, you can find the newspapers there. You can look up how he's tried to take over these mutts. Okay? How he went to court and he lost. Okay? There are a lot of other cases pending from people he's cheated, 
lands he's taken, it's unending. And the fact that you have your eyes closed and na 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 I don't want to see anything. Well, that's up to you. You don't want to see it, you don't want to see it. But you can, like I said, you can't come back and say nobody told you. Nobody was honest with it. When you find out they're fabricating this thing that he hasn't been exonerated, okay? Then you'll know eventually who's telling the truth, okay? So I'm going to leave this here. Again, you can throw it out, say I'm lying, but I didn't make the news articles, okay? I'm only reporting on what's been reported in the various newspapers, which the Nityananda Ashram will not allow anybody there to see. Okay? So, just because they deny it doesn't mean it's not happening. I'll leave it there. Enjoy it or not. Okay? Go on another rant or not. Okay? So, have a good life or not your choice. Okay? I don't care what you do with it. You're a big girl. Do whatever you want. Okay? But if you're going to get pissy and nasty with me because I'm reporting what's in the newspapers, what's out there, okay, think about it. Why? Why don't you write the newspapers and, and tell them what fakes they are? That they're lying against him. him. <laughs> See how far that gets you, <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs>